human being is hungry. Saturday. The entire human race is hungry. Saturday. City January planning is obsolete. 2022. What's needed is global planning so Earth may stop stepping like. January. January 22nd, 2022. Today on the Daily Review, we discuss avant garde film goddess Maya Darren and the Maya Darren collection. Available now on DVD with your host, me, Joe LaRocca. So I didn't mean for there to be those accidents right there, but I'm going to lean into it because it made it some sort of surrealistic avant-garde kind of entry to this episode. Uh, <laughs> Maya Darren, there's an alternative cover. Schwing! Um... Uh, remarkable avant-garde short filmmaker, experimental filmmaker. Uh, most people probably haven't watched many short experimental films unless you watch uh, <laughs> like uh, Adult Swim really late at night, you know. <laughs> or um, or I guess maybe the most famous one is Un Chanandulun, the Andalusian dog by Luis Bunuel and Salvador Dali. Uh, which is kind of remarkable. And what they usually are is similar to surrealistic painting. It's like very symbolic imagery. There's not necessarily a, a clean narrative, but there is a feeling you're given. Um, and maybe that usually supersedes even your ability to explain why the movie made you feel that way, which is, and that's in the best form. Although I feel like, you know how we've talked about in the past that like, I really like horror films, but the percentage of horror films that are just trash are like, it gotta be one of the, you know, in terms of genres, they gotta have one of the highest percentages of just garbage in there. And I think the next genre to have the highest percentage of garbage is like, is experimental film. Cause I think it's very easy. You know, the it's a thin line between, you know, genius and idiocy, as they say. Um, or just like, you know, or pretension. It can just come off really pretentious. I guess another really famous, uh, and it comes in a bit later, and we're, I'm going to talk about my Darren in a second, uh, is Stan Brackage. And his stuff is pretty, and Hollis Frampton's pretty amazing too. Uh, amazing in the sense that they had whole careers kind of doing that. And Peter Hutton, in a certain way, he's got he's got some cool stuff. But I I don't know tons and tons about this. Uh, I know I've watched all this. I've watched this collection and the Stan Brackage collection and a few other things. And uh, what's his name? Oh, the Magic Lantern cycle, that thing. Um, I've seen some of that, and in some of it, I'm like, that is genius. Like that is so original. Like Stan Brackage has this one where it's not necessarily genius to watch, but it's called Moth Light, and he just taped moths, little moth to. Like literally moths wings to to the celluloid and then printed them and then you know and it's just like it's crazy it's awesome uh, you know and they, these are just ideas to to kind of show what the medium is is uh, you know setting the the boundaries the near limitless boundaries one might say so what Maya Darren is what I think what's most amazing to me about her work is that it's like early forties. And you're like, holy crap, this lady's doing this in like 1943. Like that, there's not, I mean, there was experimental film going all the way back to the inception of film. You know, probably the earliest films seem pretty damn experimental, even if they weren't intentionally, just because it was hard to tell a story without editing and stuff. Um, but people were doing things, you know, in Germany especially and stuff, like really nutty. I mean, I'm sure everywhere, but just stuff I've seen, like early German stuff where you're like, whoa, that is surreal and what I would say, avant-garde. Um, <clears throat> but these stand out uh, because they're very, the they're kind of a cavalcade of memorable images. And I think most of her work I would consider not bullshit. She has a very high percentage of them. Like, yes, I get it. I see the meaning there. You have exp you've, you've expressed it enough and kept it a mystery enough, you know, you found the balance. So Meshes of the Afternoon is, um, 
a lady finds a flower and then she comes home and she falls asleep and she has fucking crazy ass dreams that are clearly about, you know, knives and keys and men and, and, and a mirror faced person and all this abstract imagery. But, you know, it's about like sexuality and violence and um, like women's rights, like all these very lofty, complex ideas come out just from no dialogue, just sound design you know music design and the way the camera moves i mean she does this famous thing going up the stairs where she's doing this and the camera's kind of going the opposite direction and it's got like this seasick thing it's so amazing and you can see uh lots of that imagery and stuff then worked its way you know they say here the mother of american avant-garde film but like i think it's it goes deeper than that because i see a lot of her imagery in other films you know like mod other non-avant-garde <laughs> films i would say more populist films um but the one i hadn't seen and the reason i'm doing this is a student recommended I and mean, you very rarely do freshman students go here look at this Art, look at these journals of Maya Darren that I've been reading. I was like, okay, I like BU. These students are on top of their game, you know? Uh, so I was like, all right, I better review this and know more about it so that I don't look like an idiot in front of my students. But she recommended this movie, At Land, which I had not seen. I thought I had. Uh, and it's kind of her follow-up to Meshes of the Afternoon. And, and in a lot of ways, it's it's similar themes where she's like a washes upon the shore and that's great. The the waves recede, but it, it, in reverse. So I guess they whatever you know what I mean. It's just very interesting experimental imagery, especially for the forties. You know, um, and because she's a lady, right? Like I, you know what I mean when I say that 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 there there weren't tons of women um, directing at this time. So it is impressive. She comes from like a dance background, and you can totally see where what she's doing in a lot of her films, um, especially this collection of, there's four dance, we'll call them dance movies, and it's weird because they're silent dance movies. And the first one I was like, eh, this is a little bit trying on the patience. Then I was like, no, I get it. I get why there's no music there. It's the choreography, the movement, and the movement of the camera is what, that's where the dance is happening. That's where the music is happening in the rhythm of what she's showing and in the editing and in the camera moves. And so it's like, hmm, this, this lady's way smarter than I am. No, but no, no, there is one piece on here. I, I know I didn't really end, start, finish talking about Atlant. She basically ends up seeing like various versions of herself and she's chasing after a chess piece. And the image that really does stick with you, which is what my, the student mentioned, um, is her just walking along the beach trying to pick up rocks and like rocks just keep falling out and just m more piling up more and more rocks in her arms. It's like, I don't exactly know what that means, but I know that there's no other way. I know what that feeling is, you know what I mean? And there's not necessarily a word for it, you know, because it's like two steps forward, one step back, but in, in visual form. Now she made some of these films with uh, director Alexander Hamid. Uh, so he helped out a little bit. Maybe he was doing some camera stuff and, and helping it all get done. But uh, uh, she clearly, she did a lot of the editing herself and she knew, knew the whole, you know, soup to nuts camera process. Uh, I'm reading on the back here. I'm trying to look at the name. Yeah, Private Life of Cats. Now this is bullshit. And the box, the box even makes it. Uh, she and Hammond put felines through a similar intimate process in The Private Life of a Cat. 1946, which foresaw the future of cat videos. Fuck you, copywriter wrote the back of this box. No, no, not at all. It's, I think, I really didn't like that one. It's just medium close-ups of cats. There's, like, no diversity in shots. There's no, not a lot of diversity in interest in what the cats are doing. Uh, it feels to me, it's like when, it's like somebody got a grant and then they had three days left and they're like, oh crap, I guess we'll just film the cat for a while. You know, it really, that, that was the one that almost made me go, what is this, this lady's bullshit. But no, it's, it, it, I mean, and I, maybe it's cause I don't love cats, but even if that had been private life of, of dogs and it had just been, uh, oh, maybe I take that back. I probably would have liked that more, <laughs> but, uh. There's not a lot going on in that one, and um, she did not direct that one, though. She just wrote the words for it. Her buddy, 
Hammond was the uh, director of that one, but there's not much directing going on. Just point a fucking camera at a cat. Uh, I did not get much deeper meaning out of that, uh, especially when we now, and I don't think it was like, I don't think when people make cat videos on YouTube, they're not like, I'm referencing Maya Darren in ni her 1940, you know, when a cat like, bleh, throws up on a dog's face or whatever. That would be a funny video. I've never seen that specific video. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is, that's Maya Darren. I didn't do a very good job of fully describing her, but now you know her name, M-A-Y-A-D-E-R-E-N, and you can do your own research, check out some cool experimental films, you know? Okay, oh, what's today? Oh, today on, uh, today's January, a prompt is... I think it's soundscape ambient, ambient soundscape. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Let's hope the freaking camera's back. I had to like reset everything. Ah, it did work. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens here. Sorry if that was super loud. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting it. collection buy it now or just watch all our movies on YouTube see you tomorrow have a good weekend take it easy